Hey everyone, it's Kyle. Are you ready to do some more drawing in Express? Well then, let's head to the rainforest. We'll begin with the hard round brush right here. And we're going to start by changing the color to this pink. I'll just make a stroke over here in the middle of my canvas and slightly to the right. All you're gonna do is put some color down and then choose a bunch of other colors from over here and just overlap them in a random kind of way. You'll see how I do this over the next few seconds. Yours doesn't have to look just like mine, but do try and use several colors from the ones that are available right here. And then you'll have this nice little mess of various different colors all grouped together, like so. Now we're going to use the eraser. I'll make it a little smaller here. And because of snap to shape, which is a feature that allows me to draw and then wait for a moment, what I can do is start over here. I'm going to move to the left with the eraser and then curve down to the left and wait. There we go. Now what that's going to represent is the upper half of the beak for my toucan. Now I can just erase away this excess. Now for the bottom half of the beak, I'm just going to draw from the left to the right, pause for a moment, and wait till I get this nice straight line. See that? Voila. Now I can just get rid of all this. And what we're left with is this really neat colorful beak. Okay, now we need to draw the head and body of the toucan. Let's go back to our brush and use black. You're going to want a brush that's roughly the same height as the beak or slightly larger. So I'll try about 300 pixels and see what that does. Tap right here. That's a pretty good size. Starting from the middle, I now know that I can tap and then draw downwards and pause and see what that does. It creates another straight line for me. So I want to make it long enough to represent the head and the body. And I'll just leave that there. Next for the eye of the toucan, I'm going to use this nice blue color here, make my brush smaller and tap right there. Make my brush smaller still. And with white, just tap in the center. And once more with black again, making the brush even smaller and zooming in so you can see this clearly. I'll tap a little bit over to the right so we can have our toucan look in a specific direction. Very nice. For the mouth of the toucan, separating the upper and lower halves of the beak, we'll continue using black and we'll make our brush much smaller still. And once again, I'm going to take advantage of snap to shape so I'll start drawing from the head and curve down and pause right here until I get a nice curve. And you see, I can control that curve. I can place it right there and let it be. The next thing we have to do is add an environment for the toucan. Our custom brushes will make this really simple. And we'll start with this elegant vine brush here. Make it really big. Use our green color here and just paint some nice vines moving up from the bottom like so. You want to cover up most of the bottom of the body of your toucan. It's going to be poking out from behind all of this. You can put a few vines coming up this way on the side as well. We'll leave this area open for a moment. Now we need some more color here to cover things up. And I'd like to switch to a different brush to do that. So I'm going to use this Distressed Flourish brush right here. And I'll use a darker green. Open your custom colors and just go a little darker. Make that much bigger. And then just throw a few shapes like this. You'll notice that what's nice about this is it makes it still feel tropical. We're looking for tropical shapes here. Certain leaves and certain kinds of foliage won't work as well. 
Now going back to that same green and making my brush a little smaller, I'm going to use these same shapes on top of what I just painted. And this adds a really nice effect of layering. Let's go to our art supplies and use our dirty brush. Using black, I'm going to paint a tree trunk. Make the brush a little bigger, somewhere around 200. And I'm going to draw up and at an angle like this. And if I pause without lifting up, you'll see that we once again get a straight line. So I can position it exactly where I want it, like that. Then I'll do a curved one this way. Pause, get a nice curve that I can control, and I'll leave that right there. Now I'll make the brush smaller, and I can do some smaller branches. Notice that I'm still leaving this area open. And that's because I want to put a sun there as a finishing touch. I'll select the flower mix, make it bigger, and using pink, I'm just going to tap here and there to add some pretty flowers. And once again, these feel really tropical. Now try some yellow. And maybe even some blue here and there. Great. If you remember our elegant vine brush, you can now use that as well. Use a darker green and we'll paint a few vines on top. If you want to make the brush smaller, you can also make vines that are hanging down. Maybe curving around like this. The more variety you add, the better. Maybe try some yellow for contrast. You really can't get too dense when it comes to painting a rainforest. You can also play with brushes like the Distressed Vine for some really good effects. The main thing is to bounce back and forth between really dark colors and light colors for contrast. You can see what that does. I think the regular floral brush is also a great one to use for some enormous flowers in the foreground, if you feel like adding those. Maybe some orange there. You space them out. And maybe some blue. This just really amps up that rainforest goodness. If you're ready to paint in the sun, you can do that now. Just use your yellow and the hard round brush. Make it the size you like and tap. And there's your rainforest scene. Try this multiple times and play around with how you paint the rainforest environment using different brushes. I think you'll have a great time with it. So thanks for watching and see you again next time.